Another tool that you see here in this, uh, in this menu, or another panel that you see within this menu right here, is the Pages panel. This is really handy because it tells you exactly how many pages you have in your layout, and it shows them to you at the same time. So I'm just going to select that. And just like with the line, since I'm going to be using this all the time to switch between my pages, I'm going to just rip that right out. Okay, and next we will... Uh, since I know I'm going to use this again, I'll show you another feature of copy and paste that's also really, really handy in InDesign, which doesn't really exist in any of the other uh, software. I'm going to copy all of these nine panels, and I'm going to go to my second page, so I can click or I can scroll down the page. So here in my Pages menu, I see that I've got two pages, and I'm going to right-click. And see this little, uh, this other form of paste? So there's the basic paste, and then there's paste in place. I want to paste in place because I want to make sure that these fit in the exact same place as they were on the previous page. So I'm going to paste these all in place, and there we go. Two pages of a comic book with a nine panel grid. That's all neatly aligned and perfectly spaced out. Now, if I want to look at this, what this looks like in print, I can just select my different views. Um, the easiest way of doing this uh, is to click on this the easiest way to see the easiest way to see how this will look as a single page is to click the letter W make sure I have nothing selected because if I'm typing then it'll just write the letter W and there we have it there's my page my blank page if I were to export this PDF right now that's all I would have However, I don't want just a blank page. I need to see all of my boxes. So since my panels are important to me and they need outlines, I'm going to outline them all. And I want the exact same outline on them because I'm going to be tracing this anyway. So I need it to be a bit of a guide for my hand because I still want it to look rough. But at the same time, I, uh, I do need the help of the grid. So I want a one point line. I'm going to come up here to this menu. I'll need to select my boxes. You'll see this menu up here. You'll see a series of options. So for all of these boxes, you have the width and the height. This increases and decreases by percentages. This allows you to shear or, uh, or rotate. This is shear at the bottom. And this is rotate on an angle. These are my rotate tools as well, my flip tools. This shows you exactly where your page is, so it's vertical. If I were to rotate these, you'll see that my P switches. Rotate it back. Same with mirror upside down, backwards, back to right side up. Okay, um, so this is my line options. I want to line around my, my frame. Here are my line options. Solid, thick, thin. I just want a solid line, so we're just going to leave that where it is. And I want to select about a one point line, because I don't need it to be super thick, but I need it to be reasonably thick that I can trace. Now again, click off the objects, hit select, and there I am a nine panel grid in InDesign. Now, if I'm going to be doing this a lot, say I'm you know, making Watchmen and I need a constant nine panel grid, I'm going to, I can copy and select and paste, I can select and all of these objects and paste them in endless amounts of pages, or the simplest thing to do is to save this page as a master page. So now I've created a master page by coming to my page menu, this is where I am, so I'm on page one, and you can see a little A is applied, which means it has the A master in here. When I right-clicked on here and I saved it as a master, it automatically created a B master and then a C master. I can delete these by dragging them down to the little trash can, and since I want to make sure that my page is uniform, see page two, it doesn't have any objects applied, but I want it to make sure it has the same objects as as page one. So I'm going to select my master, drag it over top of page two, and drag it into my page two. And here I am on page two. Now it has that applied to it. However, if I want to use this object, since it's in a master, it's actually locked away. I can't actually access this which doesn't help me because I actually need these, I can just hit Command and Shift and it'll unlock them from their master state. Hit 
if you're only doing a two-page com uh, two comic, then that's the easiest way.